but I really want to just eat one. If the deer eat them, why can't I eat them? In case you've never been in an orange grove, a year after a really hard cold freeze, um, I'm going to take you in one. So, <laughs> you ready? Come on, let's go. After last year's freeze in Florida, where we had um, several days in a row of like 14 degree weather here, uh, Mother Earth decided that oranges were not going to be a thing to grow this year. We were going to get to grow uh, trees. <laughs> so next year is going to be the year for the orange grove. However, I wanted to share with you a few oranges on a couple of the trees that were by the swamp. It was a little bit warmer, so they kind of had a little protected area. And so there are a few oranges this year, just a couple. And then next year, we have lots of oranges. So these are the oranges that are left that <laughs> the, the deer didn't eat. <laughs> because deer love eating oranges. Oh, lots of creatures like eating oranges. It's because they're so delicious, right? Right, almost there. Almost, you're gonna get to see. Now, this is the tree I call the happiest tree in the grove. It is right next to the, like there's like a swamp, a cypress swamp. Oh, and there's the tree. This is the happiest tree in the grove. Look at all the oranges on it. I mean, obviously it's supposed to have like 400, but hey, look, aren't they pretty? Yummy. I can't, I wouldn't eat it. Everyone said I'm not allowed to eat it yet, but I really want to just eat one. If the deer eat them, why can't I eat them? And the rest of the grove, there's a couple oranges scattered here and there in uh, the warmer part of the grove. However, the rest of the grove down there, it really froze big time last year. So we are just really happy that the trees actually survived because y'all saw, wait, did I share that with you? With When the trees froze after the freeze, what they look like? It was like really sad. I didn't think they were gonna make it, but they did. The trees that fro that really froze and died, actually I call them the cotton ball trees. And here's why. Because they, all this part up top died. And see the little, what I kind of call a cotton ball right here? This tree had died all the way back to that little tiny cotton ball um, part. And all of this up top is new growth. And the further, see, you can kind of see the, the cotton ball effect. It's like a little ball and then all new growth, which is amazing. Like I cannot, I cannot believe this. <laughs> and so the farther you go back in the grove, the colder it gets. So way back in here, it hit that 14 degrees and it was frozen for, I don't know if it was like five days. It seemed like a long time though. Uh, too long for even cold hardy citrus. So here you can kind of see the, there's a good example of the cotton ball. See right here is the only part that survived. All of this had died last year. So we had to cut all of that off. And then all of that is new growth. Like these were, all of these trees last year it was so sad. They were, they were like cut down to, Maybe here, uh, something like that. And then they started there, just like that. It's like a cotton ball, whoop. And then all of this is brand new. Um, that was not like nothing. We had to cut it completely off. So anyhow, can you believe the tree survived? So this year we're growing trees and next year we'll grow orange <laughs> oranges again in the really part of the grove and you can see these trees look how much shorter they are they really took still the cotton ball effect all that's new but these were complete like just completely wiped out look that one didn't grow again <laughs> it's okay they're all individuals oh i wanted to show you a tree 
It had four oranges, four full-size oranges on it. It was the smallest tree in the grove that had oranges on it. Well, normally these trees don't have oranges on it, but now it has zero because the deer ate it. But look, this little tree here had four, four big oranges on it. And you can see, well, it's rotted now, but that's the remnants of one of the oranges. Here's the tree with four oranges on it before the deer ate them. Yummy, delicious, weren't they? That they ate. <sighs> Now I'm going to take you over to one of the coldest trees in the grove. This one gets so cold every year because out here there's nothing to block the wind. See out here there's like no wind block at all. So these trees get really cold. Okay, so this was the coldest tree in the grove right here. And it's still alive. It's alive. Now all of the new trees, we <laughs> actually, we can't believe they lived. They seriously were down to, down to the wrap. They had died completely, just died right to the wrap. And there was only like a little, little tiny leaf or two sticking up out of there. And, and look at them. They were alive. <laughs> so I'll show you one. These get really, really cold out here because of the no wind block and no swamp to kind of keep it warmer. But this little guy, look at him. He lived. <sighs> okay. Hope you enjoyed the, the Grove tour. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye for now. This video was brought to you by the happiest orange tree in the grove.